on this next video, um, I like to keep working on the the model we have going where I've added some base cabinets and we're using SketchUp, uh, the free version or non-pro version. And we've already added base cabinets. We've already uh, worked with materials so we could set grain patterns and colors. Now we're just going to add some wall cabinets and I have some construction lines there and I'm just going to add them pretty quickly so I can show you the, some of the plugins and not worry so much about the design we have going here because it's pretty flawed. But we'll drop in a corner cabinet which we want to get to a certain height off the base cabinets and we want to move it into that corner Now we'll change the height of it to 42 inches, which will cause it to redraw, which will have it take on the materials that are in the file, or in the model, so now we see grains coming in. And now we'll drop a wall cabinet next to that, a two-door. We'll change that to match the height. And I think that width will be 45. Pretty big cabinet, but it'll do what we need. Need a finished end on the right side. Should take on the grain pattern. Now we'll drop, let's just do this over. Our microwave would go. Change it to the correct width, 30 inches. And now we'll drop in another two door cabinet next to it. Make it 42 inches tall. We're going to need a finished, well, we'll do finish ends on both sides. And make sure they're tight together. So we have the basic wall cabinets laid in. So I want to show you some plugins. We'll delete our construction lines. The first one would be what we call Update Attributes Simple, which means it allows you to change attributes that are on these products all at one time. So let's say those three cabinets, we go to our plugin, Attribute Simple. Let's say we want to change the depth. We can see the depth is consistent over all of them at 14 inches, where the width and the height varies. Here's some other variables that are at the parent level. Door type is another good one to change. So we, let's start and change it all to 12 inch deep cabinets. So now we can see that those cabinets have all shrunk up at one time, which is much faster than going in and changing them one at a time. And we'll move them back. And now we can see we have to make an adjustment to this one also. The diagonal cabinet has some variables that sets the leg width, and we can say it's going to be a 12. and now it resized their in panels to match. Another useful feature is we want to change the door style on all these cabinets at one time. Let's say we don't like the slab grain front. We can pick our simple attributes and here's a door type. And if I look at the options, one is a vertical grain, two is flat panel, three is raised panel, and then four would be if you want a horizontal grain. So we'll go to a flat panel and all those cabinets will then change over to a flat panel rather than have to do them all at one time. So another trick there is you see how the pull actually centered itself in the style. Now if we didn't like these door styles, we want to change the actual construction of the doors, those are variables are are in deeper into the product. They're actually attached to the door so you don't see them at the parent level. 
So they're kind of hidden, so we create a complex one. It takes a little longer to go through and generates all the variables that are in those products and all their parts and subcomponents. So we have a much larger list of variables. But I can see here I have style, bottom rail, with they're all 2 and 3 eighths. We can change them all to 3 and hit apply. And then the door styles will all take on those new So you can see they grew a little bit. So now we have larger styles and rails. So that's the difference between simple and complex. Simple gets the variables that are all at the parent level. Complex gives you all the variables inside that model. Last thing I want to show you is how we can use, we have a collection of pulls. And if we want to swap out pulls, we can kind of drill down until we get to the pool. We can right click and pick a component off your hard drive. So if you were to grab something off the warehouse and save it onto your hard drive, which we've done here, I could then take it and let's say we want to pick this one. It's going to ask me if I want to replace all the pools on the wall cabinets and now you'll see all the pools on the wall cabinets got replaced all at one time. And now we can do the same thing on the base and the drawer fronts. And the reason we separate them is that you may have choose to do different ones on different, for example, not that this will look particularly a good design, but I could say on the drawer fronts, I wish to use this knob. So it's saying on all drawers, would you like to? So you see everywhere on the drawer, it used that pull. And what it does, it looks for components that share the same name. So this is all named pull base and we could then pick that one we did on the wall cabinet so it's saying pull base everywhere there's pull base it replaces it with that one again we've got them all updated so that's another plugin that kind of helps with uh, swapping out and makes it faster to draw with uh, I think I'll end the video there thank you